can Victoria reign in the chaos? No. Do you think it would bite? I gotta say no. <gasps> and save 22 yeah. years of marriage? Oh, it's like a big joke to him. That was vicious. You're gonna listen to me. Upstairs, Victoria sees who's the boss in the bedroom. And it's usually a race to get in bed. Do you ever try and... Get him off? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Harley. Come on. Oh. So that's what he usually does when you try and get him off. OK. So this is what we deal with. Yeah. Does he sleep with you? We don't have a choice. There's He, he owns it. It all started because the first night he came home, I begged him, please don't let the dog on the bed. So what does he do? Oh, let's just let him sleep on here one night. And so from the one night, this is where we're at. Well, he looks very comfortable. He is very comfortable. <laughs> so where do you sleep? We sleep in little balls and around Harley. If you touch him with your feet at night, it's he does, you know, he doesn't bite you, but he's just oh, so. Oh, but remember the err, uh, that's a right. warning. He he tees on us like a little baby, so he doesn't he doesn't bite hard. I don't know if he's got a mean bone in his body. He's gonna uh, I do. <laughs> what? You think right. that's it? <laughs> Excuse me? What do you think that was? And and that's what he is. He, he you know, it's like a big joke to him. Oh, uh, he's not uh, gonna hurt uh. you. That was vicious. Okay, Rick, do you think he would bite? <laughs> I gotta say no. <gasps> Rick doesn't think that his dog's behavior is that serious. Jody does. Um, I, I think Rick is a little blind, and I think he needs to wake up. Have you asked Rick to get him out of the bed? Oh my god, it's a fight every night. Um, can you show me how you would get him off the bed? Come on. Come on, don't don't growl me. Come on. Come on. Come come on. <laughs> no. You made me jump. So that didn't scare you? You didn't think he'd bite you if you didn't jump? Let's, Come let's, on. back back away from him, back away from him, back away from him. I'm gonna listen to you. All right, yeah, because your dog just snapped at you. Right, his best buddy, his and cool the next, dog. The next level of snap is bite. We're not talking play biting here, we're talking about bite. Okay. Then you're really gonna know about it. You're really gonna know what a bite feels like. Harley's guarding the bedroom location at the moment, but I have no doubt that it's going to translate to other areas of the house too if they don't nip this in the bud. But despite Harley snapping, Rick thinks Jody is overreacting. Maybe she's a little bit more afraid of the dog than I am. I, I, I again, I don't feel that he's got a, a bad bone in his body. I just can't see him really hurting anybody. I can't believe you're defending the dog and making light of this. He lunged with teeth. Oh. And Rick still just thinks he's playing. He's done it before. He growls and he puts his mouth over your hand, and that's Rick, all he does. Has he snarled and had his I lips up know. like that before? Maybe I don't know. What do you mean maybe? I don't know. No. No. I don't know. No. He's never had his lips up, tea showing like that. The only time he's bit harder is trying to play with him. That's the only time. <sighs> he just doesn't get it. It's really weird to see them fight because they usually, they haven't fought a lot when I was growing up or anything, I guess. But like seeing them fight over like such a stupid thing like a dog, it's just really weird. Well, that's the third time I've seen him viciously lunge at me in bed in two days. Yeah. That's crazy. It's the only place he does it. Rick is in complete denial. I mean, what he's actually doing is enabling Harley's negative behaviors. Goodness me, if Harley suffers from really bad aggressive response and he bites somebody, that could be curtains for Harley. This is serious. I have no doubt that that dog will bite if pushed too far. He gave you a very clear warning. That's your serious opinion? Yeah. Uh, really? Really? 1,000 trillion million percent. I, I, I have no doubt. He is going to bite. He will make contact with your skin. And this time, it will not be play. He will mean business. Because he's never broken skin. Well, actually, your arm had broken skin. Well, he caught me once. This is serious. And if you don't want to listen to your wife, you're going to listen to me. Victoria gives Jody and Rick her assessment of where they've gone wrong. I spent a day observing you with your dogs. 
and there are a lot of issues here that need addressing. And until you understand those issues, things are never going to get better. And I'm looking at you, Rick. A major enabler of negative behavior. Wow. I have to say, I have never met anybody whose instincts with dogs are so wrong. Next, Victoria turns to the most serious issue of all, Harley's presence in the marital bed. She's cutting off access for Harley and giving him a new raised bed to sleep on. Uh. <laughs> Baby rails. I put these guard rails up because I'm hoping Harley can't jump over them. Okay, Rick, do you want to come out with Harley? Here I come. Whoa. Okay, Rick, could you go over to the bed that I've set up for Harley over there? Say, bed, give him the treat. Bed, bed. That's it. Good boy. Lots Good of praise. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Rick, will you just come into this bed? Let's just ignore him. Did not shock him with the dog. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, away. Good boy. Let's just ignore him. He doesn't know what to do with himself. But this is going to be a little strange for him because he can't be with you anymore. Now, if he gets clever and he decides to jump over this part, then we'll just put a rail up here too. So tonight, I want to see what happens. I think Harley's going to wander around a little bit and I'm hoping that he's going to find his place. Before she leaves for the night, Victoria encourages Harley to try out his new bed. Sit. Lie down. Settle. Good boy. I'm hoping, and I'll see in the camera, that he eventually settles down. Good night, Harley. Sleep tight. Victoria's back to find out how the night went. Hey, Hello. Hi. hi. Hello, Harley. Hello, darling. It's the first night since Harley arrived that Rick and Jody have had the bed to themselves. However, Harley's behavior is still concerning Jody. Harley growled. I'm not sure if he growled at Abby. He's tried to steal our blanket. He paced a lot. So last night was a rough night. Victoria wants to see for herself if Harley is a cause for concern. So isn't it interesting? Mm -hmm. He's comfy, and Abby's the one that's moving around. And I think he just got startled there. He was asleep, dead asleep, and Abby's movement startled him. So that doesn't concern me at all. In fact, at this point, he's been on the bed for four hours. Abby's gone onto Harley's bed, and he goes to Abby's bed. This is good, though, because he's not growling at her. Mm -hmm. That was a big thing. We were just worried that, you know, when we were trying to sleep, he was growling at, at Abby. Right. But I was actually quite relieved because she showed us that Harley just got startled by Abby. So it was really nice to see that he's not as vicious as I thought he was. Keep Harley out of the bed. Don't let Harley jump up on you, Rick. And Jody, help him with that. One more thing. Victoria also has a challenge for Rick and Jody. I've got some new bedding for you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> when I come back, I don't want to see one dog hair on that duvet. <laughs> Not one. Best thank of luck. You. We'll make you thank proud. You. All yes. right. Yep. OK, bye. Bye. We want to make sure we get a good grade from her. So we're going to work very hard with Harley. So next time she comes in to, to visit, either he's going to be a, he's going to be a good dog. You know, we can actually share a comforter now. <gasps> really? You could look, but don't touch. So it's so nice to have a bedspread on your bed instead of like a comforter that the dog is eating and chewed on. It's so nice to come up and see your pretty bed and see your room look nice once again. Away. The king of the bed has been dethroned. 
So far, Harley's good boy status is intact. But what's been going on upstairs? When I went up there, I didn't want to see one dog hair on that new quilt I gave them. No dog, dog hair, hair at all. <laughs> and there wasn't. Look, he's just gone straight no. to his bed there. Absolutely, he understands. Can you get onto your bed? I just want to see what he does. I wanted to take one of the bed guards down to see how Harley would react, see what he does. Harley's behavior is very different from Victoria's first visit. No, 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 get down. Get then, he saw the bed as his territory. <laughs> now, he's happy to stay off it. Away. I know that in the future, Rick and Jody will be able to sleep without the bed guards, but it's gonna take a while. I want Harley to have a habit of sleeping in his own bed, set him up for success, make it easy for him to do well. And then when he does have a habit of sleeping in his own bed, the bed guards on Rick and Jody's bed can come down. I am ecstatic to have my bed back. You don't understand how nice it is to get into a clean bed, no dog, next to your husband. What could be better than that? Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.